Journey kids. Hi, you guys. We are so glad that you're joining us today. You know, Pastor Lillian, we are starting a brand new series for the month of October. Yes, I'm so excited. Do you want to know what this means? What? It means that October, it's time for football. Yeah, that's right. And when it's time for football, you want to know what happens? What? I get to have chicken wings. Isn't it so exciting? We get snow and all things are fun. And we get to eat lots of jelly beans. Okay, yeah. not really where I was going, but this month we do start a new series. It is called Offstage Drop the Act. Drop the Act. That means this month we are learning about integrity. You know what that means? No, what does that mean? It means being real, being truthful, being honest. Those are all the things that God tells us to be. Yes, we're yeah. going to learn all about it this we're gonna month. We're going to teach you guys all that. We have some fun things planned. We want to worship with you. We even have some special guests we cannot wait to show you. You guys are going to love them. They're so fun and super exciting. We just love them a lot. Before we jump into a time of worship, will you join us in prayer? Jesus, we love you so much. God, we're grateful that we get to join together. God, and have fun today as we celebrate the beginning of our new series, Offstage. Lord, I pray that you would open up ears, open up hearts, and have the children ready to receive the word from you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Guys, we have a new worship song. Stand up to your feet. Tune in to the screen as we get to worship Jesus together. Before the day I took a breath, you had a plan for my every step. You promised to always be by my side. I believe that.
I love the new worship song. Me too. It was really good. It's a little slow for my taste though. You know, it's a little bit slower, but we get to worship Jesus and that's the best part of worshiping together. My favorite song is still the going down to the river, down to the river, down to the river to pray. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to get washed by the water. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I'm shocked that nobody has picked you up for a record deal. I know. I mean, I am a songwriter now, you know. You're a songwriter. You have a great voice. I should go on stage. I should be like the girl on singing and sing all my favorite songs. I could do it, you guys. I think she can. What do you guys think? Let us know in the chat. Do you think Pastor Lillian might have a career as a singer and songwriter? I mean, I did I did rewrite the Mother's Knows Best song, right? You did. Right? Yeah. Mothers are the best. Listen to your mothers. Wash your hands if they tell you to. I mean, that's like a number one hit. I think it is. You know what? I heard it in someone's radio the other day. You did? Yes. Guys, I made it big. Did it go gold? Did they platinum. have a gold? It's platinum. Do you think I deserve some M&Ms now? I I'm really want some M&Ms. Listen, I'm going to grab some M&Ms, some popcorn. The so-and-so show this week is awesome. We get to see Brandon and John play a game and hear a great Bible story from Kellen. Let's check it out. Okay. I like to go swimming. Uh, my favorite snack is apricots. Uh, I always forget to mail my dad a birthday card. Oh, okay. Those are, those are good ones. Um, what's the lie? What's the lie? Swimming. Swimming. You don't really like swimming. Actually, I do. Like, oh, so the lie no. was the birthday card. I'm, I'm pretty great about remembering birthdays. Okay. Go. Okay, okay, wow. Okay, it's, uh, that's impressive. Okay, my turn, my turn. I have hair. I wear glasses. I'm immune to gravity. <laughs> okay, that's a tough one. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to have to go with the gravity thing. Oh! Yes, how'd you know? I... I don't know. All right, all right, here you go. Here, here you go. go, okay. I hate pepper jelly. 
I used to be afraid of chipmunks. I own 42 copies of the book, The Hobbit. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I know this one. I know it's The Hobbit. That's because you only own 39 copies of The Hobbit. Do you count my books? I am the son of an astronaut. I eat chocolate pudding at 3 a.m. And I have 12 toes. Okay. <laughs> The game is two truths and a lie, John, not three lies. Neither of your parents is an astronaut. You wouldn't eat chocolate pudding at three every morning because you always need help opening your pudding cups. And as far as the 12 toes, I think I would have known. You don't know how many toes I have? You don't know. I mean, I'm pretty, no, I believe you, I believe you, I believe you. I'm gonna show them. No, 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 no. everyone, I'm Brandon. <laughs> and I'm John, and welcome to the Sue and Sue Shoe. <laughs> You're so funny, he's so funny. The so-and-so show, John. <laughs> but he's right, welcome to our most devoted, loyal, happy audience who always warms our hearts, gives us purpose, and makes us feel so cheerful. Wow, you are in a good mood today. I'm always in a good mood, John. Really? <laughs> I'm the peppiest person I know. Oh, you must not know a lot of people. What was that? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Any minute now. Any minute now what? Oh, I'm, I'm interviewing later today to be a member of a very prestigious society. Oh. The interviewer should be here. Any minute now. What's the society? Oh, the Society of Sincerely Perpetually Peppy People. <laughs> Oh, you're being sincere. Yeah, of course I'm being sincere. I'm a sincerely, perpetually peppy person. You? I am! Okay. Okay, maybe I'm not always peppy, but anyone who's anyone is a member of the SOS PPP, and I prefer being a perpetually peppy person who's popular, plus it looks really good on a resume. So if you'll just make me look good in front of the interviewer, I would really appreciate it. Do you think you can do that for me, best friend in the whole world? Um, sure. All right. Hello, peppy people! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Samantha, and I'm the senior assistant selector for the Society of Sincerely Perpetually Peppy People. Well, welcome, welcome. Oh, you must be Brandon. Oh, what? No, no, I'm John. Uh, this is Brandon. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I am, I'm the Brandon that you, the person you wanted to see when you, when you, well, I'm, I'm the, he, he's me. <laughs> it is a pleasure, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> sit, yes. sit, 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 sit. I am sitting. No, what no. Oh, oh, hey, hey, sit down. Oh. I mean, would you, uh, here, have a, have a seat. Here. Oh, okay. There oh, you go. Okay. On, the, on the chair that there's <laughs> Thank what you. I was putting Thank out you. for you. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. So, how are you doing today, Brandon? Splendidly. I'm so good because of, you know, all of the... The, the, the birds and the sunshine and the happy, happy thoughts. Yeah, yeah. He was uh, so happy this morning, I barely recognized him. Oh, John. I, I mean, I mean he, you know, I looked at him and I said, whoa, who, who is this? Please stop helping me. I, I really like your club. Yeah. Oh, well, Thanks thank you. you. We at the Society of Sincerely Perpetually Peppy People pride ourselves on our constant cheerfulness, happiness, peppiness, merriment, glee. And bliss. D don't those all mean the same thing? <laughs> Let's get to the interview, shall we? Oh, I love interviews. Actually, it's more of a game. Oh, I love games. <laughs> yeah, me too. Can I play too? Of course, awesome. of course. So I'll hold up a photo, and you say the first thing that pops in your head. Oh, I love saying the first thing that pops into my head. I do it all the time. Uh, uh, door. <laughs> uh, lamp. Uh, uh, giant pencil. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so photo number one. Uh, Brandon, you go first. Uh, okay, uh, sleep. No, I only say that because sleep is what I want to do when I watch soccer. I mean, it's not a negative thing. Sleep is important for your health. <laughs> okay, um, try to keep your answers to one or two words, okay? Oh, right, yeah. Okay, <laughs> right. right. Um, John? Uh, fun. Okay. Numero... 
Dosa. Uh, uh, brain freeze. Yummy. Mm. Three. Uh, oh, loud. Uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Ants. Oh, watermelon. Um. Uh, oh, oh, expensive. Party. Um, excuse me. Uh, Brandon, are you okay? Of course. Why? Well, it, it just seems your answers don't seem particularly perpetually peppy. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I think I'm just nervous. I mean, you're the senior assistant selector. If I'd have known they were bringing the SAS of the SOS PPP here, I'd have been more personally prepared to be perpetually peppy. Uh, I see, I see. Yeah. But just so you know, the society of sincerely perpetually peppy people isn't for everyone. Some people are only peppy periodically, and that's okay. It is? Certainly! You know, some people only want to join the society because they think it'll make them popular. What? I know, I know. But what really matters is staying true to who you are. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's get on with the game, shall we? Oh. All right, I just have one more picture. <laughs> oh! It's, it's Bible story time with Galen! Hey, Galen. Hey, Galen. I am very excited for our story today, so let's jump right in. Take it away. Okay, over 2,000 years ago, around 600 BC, there was a kingdom called Babylon with a king named Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar was not exactly a good guy. In fact, he was pretty evil. King Nebuchadnezzar... You know what, that's a really long name. So I'm just gonna call him King Nebi. King Nebi and his army surrounded and attacked the city of Jerusalem. And he stole from the temple of God. Then King Nebi gave the order to take some of the Israelites hostage so they could be his personal servants. He wanted only the smartest, strongest, and healthiest to be brought to Babylon as captives to learn his ways and serve him at his palace. One of the men captured was named Daniel. Daniel wasn't exactly a superhero. He was just a person like you and me, but he was put to a big test. As part of their training, the men who were captured were ordered to eat food from the king's table. This food was different than the food they normally ate to honor God. And Daniel and his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, believed the king's food would make them unclean. Yeah. So Daniel asked an official for permission to eat something else. But the official was afraid that if Daniel and his friends didn't eat the king's food, they would become weak and unhealthy. But Daniel was determined to stay true to who he was and to honor God no matter what. So he convinced a guard to give him and his friends only vegetables and water for 10 days. And after the 10 days, Daniel and his friends looked stronger and healthier than everyone. After that, Daniel and his friends were allowed to eat the food they wanted. God gave these four men knowledge and understanding. They became some of the wisest men in the kingdom. It may not have been the best circumstance. Daniel and his friends had lost their homes. They'd lost their freedom. But with God's help, they kept their honesty and their integrity, and they stayed true to who God made them to be. The end. What a cool story. Yeah, even with all that pressure to be like everyone else, Daniel chose to be himself. You find a lot of that in the Bible. Look at Jesus. It would have been really easy for Jesus to go along with the crowd. But instead, he only lived the way he knew was true, even if it meant giving his life up for you and me. Incredible. Thanks, Kellen. Hey, see you next time, Kellen. No problem, fellas. Bye. Bye. John, you were right. Whoa.
You think I was right about something? <laughs> do, do go on. No, it's about the society of sincerely, perpetually peppy people. That's not me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, no, it's not. And I'm okay with that. I mean, it's great to be happy and peppy, but it's also good to have other emotions too. And I'd rather be myself than try to fit into some club. That's awesome. Brandon, I am very proud of you. Thank you, John. Mm -hmm. I'm practically perpetually proud. Okay. I am positively pleased. Okay, stop. <laughs> Reveal the question. How do you want people to describe you? That's interesting. How do I want people to describe me? What do I want to be known for? I, I, I want to be known as the life of the party. The guy who can, you know, stick out his tongue and touch his nose. And I want people to describe me as someone who's sometimes peppy, sometimes not. And that's okay. <laughs> What about you? How do you, how do you want people to describe you? Hey, look, I did it. I stuck out my tongue and I touched my nose. Yeah, that's very, very Isn't talented. Good? We'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Yeah, bye. Please place the pleated pressed pants on the plain pressing plane. A pack of pesky pixies. A pack of pesky pixies. Frothy fructose. Frontogenesis. <laughs> that, was, that was fructose. September. Mom makes mash m m marmalade. Gum gets gooey. Gum gets gumptious. Gooey gumptious gum is gargantuanly gooey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just love Brandon. You wanna know what I love about him? What? Is that he wanted to be peppy, and I love that he used that that one thing you know he was there with like with all the peas, and he was like. Pup, 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 pup. Right? Kind of reminds me of like Peter Piper picked a peck, peck of peppers. Right. Have we ever done that before? Like said things that like all had the same letter at the beginning. It was like so hard. Like she sells seashells on the seashore. Those are difficult things to say. Whoa. You know what's, I think you would be perfect to fit into the peppy club. Really? Yes. I would, I would, I would so love to be a part of that. You know what? You are so peppy. You love peppy roni pizza. I do love peppy roni pizza. Peppy roni pizza was named after me, you guys. Let me tell you what. Hey, did you see what the question was? No, what was it? How would you want people to describe you? Well, I would want people to describe me as a lover of Christ. Mm -hmm. I would want them to describe me as peppy and smart and funny and caring and loving. That's so good. And I want them to say that I'm a good friend. That's awesome. Right? Speaking of good friends, we have some awesome friends that we want to bring on so they can tell us all about themselves. You guys get ready. We'll be right back. Hey guys, guess what? We brought our friends. This is Mr. Zeke and Miss Maricela. Let me tell you guys, these are some super cool peppy people. Yes, they're part of our peppy people club. Yes. We don't really have a peppy people club, but I just made it up and I think it sounds great and we should start adding members, right guys? Yes. Yes! <laughs> I think that would be the coolest club in the whole world. Hey guys, guess what? I'm sorry, Pastor Ryan, but I have to say something real quick. I brought you guys some snacks! Woo! Yeah! Wow. I brought you guys some jelly beans and some nims. Guys, they are part of our Journey Kids team on Sundays. If you come on Sundays, you have seen Mr. Zeke and Miss Maricela. But for those of you that are watching online, we want you guys to know who they are and hear some awesome stories about what they've done and who they are. Yeah, so you guys, we, I know everybody wants to know, who are you? So can you guys tell us, like, you know, just tell us all, what is the most exciting thing you guys have ever done? Huh, the most exciting thing. Well, tell them about that time we jumped off that plane that we own, and where did we go hiking at? In the Amazon. Yeah, we saw you all kinds of... You went to the Amazon? Yes. Yeah, we saw anacondas, we saw <laughs> <all> spiders <laughs> like this. Wow! You know yeah, one almost like grabbed me and like almost ate me, and Mr. Zeke, he like totally came up to me and just saved me! He did? Oh. You were a hero! Mr. Zeke is a spider killer! Okay. He's I my don't... hero! He's a hero, guys! You hear no that? Way. That is Wow. wow, you know what? They're you know, so guys, cool. You, we're, 
You're not that cool, Pastor Ryan. You know what? But that that reminds wow. me of of the story today. You know, Daniel and his friends they stayed true to who they were, That's and so true. and they didn't eat from the king's table. They wanted to eat vegetables and water. I, I would not eat vegetables. And water. I, yeah, I would just eat them and eggs all day. I wouldn't yeah. eat vegetables and water. Vegetables and water, but they did it for 10 days. <gasps> and you know what happened after the 10 days? They were stronger than the other servants who ate from the king's table. Do you think that we would be stronger if we ate M&M's or if we ate vegetables? I think we would be like super strong with M&M's and jelly beans. I think you would the green ones. Ooh, the green ones is like the color of a vegetable. That's Ooh, true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yes. a great idea. Green ones. I'm gonna. Beans. Yes. Beans. And beans. Yes. And beans, like the brown ones, are like beans. Yes. Yes. You know that's so good. You know, guys, I had no idea. We had known you for so long, and I had zero idea that you guys were such explorers. They're adventurous. Yeah, you guys are so adventurous. You. Uh, when I get bigger, I want to be just like them. Yeah. Yeah. Not to brag. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think you guys are so cool. I can't believe all that stuff really happened. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, but I don't know. Did that stuff really happen? No. What do you think? I think we should tell them the truth. Oh, you go first. I didn't really jump off a plane or my plane. You didn't? No. What happened? I drove six hours to Yosemite and hike. Yeah, oh. we really didn't go to the Amazon. Why Why did you guys tell us that story? I don't know. I guess I just wanted to sound like super exciting for the kids so that they can like really like us. But you know what? I, I think Yosemite sounds like right? super fun. I've yeah. never been to Yosemite, you guys. That sounds what? amazing. Yeah. You and guys are awesome. They drove six hours. What is Yosemite anyway? It's a national forest. Wow. We need to go there, Pastor Ryan. You know what? This is such a great example of us just needing to be who we are. Yes. We don't have to be anything you guys. special or different. Yes, you guys Thank don't have to be guys. anything. We love you just the way you are. We love you even if you don't have a plane or even if you didn't get eaten by spiders or piranhas. Yeah. I mean, praise God. But that was a really cool story. You know what? That reminds me. <laughs> That reminds me, Pastor Lillian, of this week's Word of the Week. It is Yosemite! Yeah! Yosemite is the Word of the Week. For you guys that are watching, bring Yosemite to Wednesday night, Journey Kids Connect at 6 o'clock. You're going to type Yosemite into the chat. We'll put it on the screen so you know how to spell it. And bring your Bible. Also, this week is Bring a Friend Wednesday. If you bring a friend to the Zoom on Wednesday night, you're going to you get two entries into the giveaway. Two entries into our Word of the Week giveaway. You don't want to miss it. Wednesday night at 6 o'clock for Journey Kids Connect. Yes, and also, don't forget, you guys, uh, at 9 o'clock on Sundays, we have Journey Kids Co Connect at Victorville First Assembly of God. So we want to hang out with you. So even if you weren't able to make it today, come and see us next week because we're going to still be there. Yes, you guys want to come out so you can meet Mr. Zeke and Miss Maricela in person. They're going to be there. You want to yes. hear all about their amazing hike to Yosemite after their six-hour drive. Hey, maybe you guys can bring some of your really cool stuff. That would be neat so the kids could see me on pictures and things like that. I can bring a pine cone. <gasps> Ooh, that's she cool. has pine cones, guys. Yeah, awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Well, listen, this month we're talking about integrity, which means being truthful and honest. So mm -hmm. you guys continue to just let God speak to you this week. We love you guys. Will you join us in prayer as we close today? Jesus, we are so grateful for our awesome friends, Mr. Zeke and Miss Maricela, being able to join us today. We're grateful for all the kids who are watching online. God, just continue to speak about being honest and truthful. Lord, we want to be more and more like you, so help us to do just that. Jesus, we pray just a hedge of protection over every child that's watching. Lord, keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We love you guys. We will see you next week. Bye.